Hi, I'm Cameron Everett, and these are just a few pictures of our engine. An internal combustion engine is a device that converts the energy contained in fuel into rotating power. This process operates based upon the principle of a cycle, which is something that is like a process of something. There are four strokes in this cycle. The first stroke is called intake. Intake is when a piston moves downward and it draws a fresh charge of vaporizing fuel slash air mixture. The piece with the red cap of cord sticking out is called the distributor. The distributor is a case that enables current movement in both directions. This piece is called the valve spring. The valve spring is a mechanism that keeps the valve closed. This is the oil filter. The oil filter is a device that removes impurities from oil passing through it. A pulley is a small wheel grooved with a rim for the fan belt that helps turn the cooling fan. I'm Tamia Wilson and these are my parts of the engine. The flywheel is a wheel that, while turning, regulates the speed of the engine. The water pump is a device that circulates water through the radiator and the fan is an apparatus that feeds in oxygen from the engine's combustion. The engine block is a set consisting the motor clutch and the gearbox. A fan belt is a piece of rubber that wraps around the pulleys and turns the cooling fan. A piston is a cylinder piece of metal that moves up and down the cylinder. A connecting rod is connecting the pistons to the crankshaft, which rotates both so it's at an angle that can change the position of the piston. The crankshaft turns the pistons up and down in a circular motion. An air filter is a device that removes impurities from passing through it. A spark plug cable is a cable that connects the spark plug to the distributor cap. A spark plug is a mission device of an internal combustion engine, and a dipstick is the instrument that measures the level of oil in a motor. I'm Tamia Wilson, and I'm going to tell you about the second stroke in the V8 engine process. In the compressor stroke, the piston rises and the poppet valve closes by increased cylinder pressure. Then the flywheel momentum moves the piston upward, compressing the fuel air mixture. Now I'm going to tell you about how much we're selling our engine for. We're selling our engine for $252.84. This is based off our equipment cost being $18.75 with a 6.75% profit margin and us paying our workers $8.15 per hour. This is also based off the fact that we have constructed 100 engines. Hi, I'm Kayla Beatty and I'm here to talk to you about the third stroke in a V8 engine. And the first thing I want to say is that they use thermal energy in a heat engine, which converts into work, converts into work. And they use PE fuel burns and expands, driving pistons, and the top of a compression stroke, which is also used with a spark plug tight and igniting the compression fuel. The fourth and final stroke of the engine is called the exhaust. During this process, the exhaust valve is opened at the bottom of the power stroke by the cam lifter mechanism. Also during this step, the upper stroke of the piston drives the exhaust fuel out of the cylinder. So there were only a few steps along the way that we had to like go back and fix because they put us like way on a major setback. So the first step that uh, set us back with step three, which was putting on the piston halves. For some reason, they just would not stay on. So we ended up for like somebody had to manually hold the piston halves together, and then we had to quickly push on the cylinder walls so it would just stay. The other thing that um, put us on a setback was that our left engine wall kept sliding out for some reason. And the last thing that really, like, really held us back was our camshaft kit. It just wouldn't stay in place. So when we started moving on, we had to end up going back because it just was not in place. Hi, I'm Kayla Betty, and I'm here for the enhancements for the VA model for Group 7. Our enhancements were that we made a engine that is battery ran instead of fuel ran. We made it so that the battery was rechargeable and 
that causes less air pollution, which is more eco-friendly, which is what our company is striving to do. Thanks.